BPRD is a name that most big classic Doom fans will recognise. He is the creator of the infamous Nuts.Wad, and while that is the level that catapulted him into the limelight, his true magnum opus is Equinox. BPRD was working on Equinox far before Nuts.Wad, and only created the latter to test how to upload a level onto Doom World. After Equinox was done with, he designed a few more joke wads, as well as the Mucus Flow level from Community Chess 2. A common trait among all of BPRD's work is his custom graphics and sound. For example, in Hand.Wad, the only change you made to the game is that all of the guns are now replaced with custom hand sprites. Equinox is a pretty decent megawad on its own, but what makes it stand out is the new graphics, music, and sound effects. I love the new sound for the regular shotgun specifically, and I wish that the super shotgun wasn't the more viable option within combat, just so I can hear that new sound more. Also, the chain gun had a spray swap and I think the two barrel design looks awesome. According to BPRD, Equinox took him an entire year to make and he even admits that the Megawad isn't without its flaws. The monster placement can be quote, very repetitive and boring at times. And I tend to agree. As Equinox carries on into the later levels, the combat starts to sag the experience, and that's a shame because the level design is pretty damn solid. Level 1 starts off outside of this giant facility, and right away, Equinox intrigues the player. There's no real story to Equinox, and I kinda love that. It makes the player ask questions as to what Equinox is, and why you keep going back to this building over and over throughout the ward. The secret early on with the washed up boat, the footprints, and the hidden safe house leaves you wondering more about what happened, and I think it's brilliant environmental storytelling. The Equinox facility looks huge in scale, and the custom graphics really tie it all together. The first level is just meant to get your feet wet, and its easy difficulty is actually quite misleading. Equinox can be very punishing, and that's one of my main issues with it. I have no problem with Doom Wads being challenging, but the abundance of monsters and the lack of ammo to deal with each combat situation can make things incredibly frustrating. I want to love Equinox. I think it brings a ton of cool ideas to the table, but the actual gameplay lets it down. The next level contains the first hub area. There are four of these hub maps throughout the game, where you access a teleporter to get to the next big level. Having a central hub that you come back to is a neat idea, but I could have done without it at the same time. Level 3 is where you get more guns to play around with, but also the enemy count becomes relentless. Still though, the environments that you explore in Equinox are compelling. Level 3 features a rocky cavern with lava, as well as the regular tech-based stuff. It looks great, and the more natural terrain helps make this map stand out a bit from the rest. Level 4 has an awesome opening set piece with a metric fuckton of hit scanners and imps. The Cyber Demon boss fight is a nice surprise, but luckily if you aren't fully equipped to deal with him, you can just slip down into this hole. This map concludes with you blowing up all of these cloning experiments. Fantastic. The second hub map is up next, and I don't have too much to say. Aside from having more exterior locations to navigate compared to the other maps in Equinox, level 6 is extremely forgettable. Level 7 is really the next noteworthy stage in this ward, and I'm not really a fan of it either. The map is long and a little meandering. It doesn't have much on offer in terms of visuals as well, since the crate maze aesthetic gets tiring after a while. I've also seen it done before in other Doom Wads, including the original fucking game, so level 7 ultimately loses me. Level 8 is the second to last hub map of the game, and I do like how the same area degrades more and more. Level 9 is set in an airfield, and there's a gigantic nuts.wad type battle at the beginning. After that, the map settles down until another big firefight. If you want to circle strafe around tons of fireballs and mow down hordes of demons, level 9 of Equinox is for you. At the end of this level, you get abducted by aliens, and you're treated to the most unique map in the set. 
you appear alone on this alien spacecraft, but then you're ambushed by a whole heap of arch files. This level is an ode to Plutonium Map 11, as it shares the same gameplay loop. Sneak around this desolate environment and pick off the arch files when you can. I love the concept of this map, and I really dig the inclusion of aliens. I think it goes hand in hand with what Equinox is going for, but I find this level frustrating at the same time. The final two main levels of the WOD are beyond aggravating as well due to its difficulty, and it spoils what otherwise could have been a great and ambitious map set. I get so confused in level 12, and the pathfinding is not clear in the slightest. You just run around the board and then after a while, you clumsily find your way to the map exit. The final level in Equinox mirrors the first, but it's way more annoying to go through due to the darkness and aggressive enemy projectiles. To be honest, I didn't even go about completing this map as I was just beyond frustrated with its design. Equinox is a good Doom map set, but as much as I adore its unique aesthetic and tone, I cannot put it in the upper echelon of Megawad. The environmental storytelling is on another level, but then the cumbersome enemy placement drags it down. The colour palette and the attention to detail with the visuals is fantastic, but then the less than stellar gameplay in parts drags it down. There's always a give and a take when it comes to Equinox, and while I respect the shit out of BPRD, I must say that I'm still searching here, and I do hope to love this word someday.